welcome back to my channel. Today I am on my way to go visit the Maxwell Wildlife Refuge in Canton, Kansas. This is a place that I have heard of before but I've never been to and actually I didn't even know that you could like visit and go hiking and see the buffalo and all of that stuff that they have there. Um, but my friend Kristen invited me to go with her and her boyfriend Shane today to go on a little tram tour ride to see the bison. Uh, which happens to be one of the largest free roaming bison herds in Kansas. Not one of, it is the largest free roaming bison herds in Kansas. So I'm kind of excited for that. I think it's going to be really, really cool. And yeah, so that's the plan for this morning. Just do a quick little tram tour ride. I'm so excited to see Kristen and Shane. Oh my goodness. And of course, I'm excited to be able to go on more adventures like this with her and Shane, of course. <laughs> But Kristen's my travel buddy, as y'all know from watching um, the Glacier and the Banff videos that I put out. If you watch them, if you haven't, they're linked up here on the screen for you to check out. You're not going to want to miss them. I have some really amazing footage from those absolutely breathtakingly beautiful places. I am always up for going on any adventure with my girl Kristen, and so I was really pumped that she invited me to go with them today. Crashed their little date to go see the bison and, you know, third wheel as per usual. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited to see it and uh, I'm almost there. So I'm gonna have to let you go and enjoy the bison footage. <laughs> into the video to talk to you guys a little bit about a brand called Right On Trek. Right On Trek is a company that really strives to help you create once in a lifetime adventures, even if you don't have the kind of knowledge, expertise, or even the equipment to make those adventures possible. On their website, you can find planned itineraries that are absolutely great for planning these adventures, like multi-day backpacking. And you can also go on there to rent any type of gear that you could need and to find different nutritious hiking meals. And while I'm talking to you guys a little bit more about the brand Right On Trek and their gear rental facility, I'm actually going to be making myself one of their backcountry meals. This is the granola, blueberry bliss granola with yogurt adventure meal. So I'm very excited to try this out. Right On Trek actually did send this to me, but I'm still going to be giving you guys my like honest review and opinion on it. I'm, I'm actually really excited to try this though. And I'm hungry, it's like 7.30 in the morning and I haven't had breakfast yet, so this is absolutely perfect. So as I mentioned, Right On Trek is a company that is really striving to help you have the best adventure that you could possibly have. And one of the things that really helps you make sure that you have a great adventure is knowing that you have the right gear. So all across the country, Right On Trek is putting up these 
facilities called the edge facilities and at these facilities you can go and actually rent any type of gear that you would need they're 24 7 gear rentals right now the only edge facility that is currently up and in an operation is located near glacier national park in columbia falls montana but as i mentioned they're planning on putting many more facilities up all across the country and they're making sure that they're located close to hot travel places like the national parks so that way you're not going to be too far away from one of their facilities and from some very affordable gear rentals in fact i think the one in glacier i was looking at it a little bit more the pricing for the gear rentals was very very affordable which is great because that means that then any adventurer can have a grand time and be safe about it all right let me see if i did this right add three to five ounces of untreated water stir it looks like the picture. They also sent me in there a little um, condiments package. So I'm gonna knock this off my leg, so I'm gonna set this on the ground. Inside of it, it has milk and cream. We got some honey. Oh, there's some banana chips in here. Freeze dried banana chips and walnuts. These banana chips definitely this yogurt. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, <sighs> moment of truth before I freeze to death. <laughs> Eat my hair. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of how liquidy it is it just kind of it seems kind of weird but like the flavor is actually really good it tastes healthy but not in like a like a gross way for being like an adventure hiking meal those don't normally taste all that great anyway but this one is this one is definitely pretty good all right right on track i'll see you all right well i hope you guys enjoyed listening but i'm really excited to see all of those facilities go up across the country like like i said it's going to be so convenient and it's going to make it so much easier to do any like adventuring because that's one thing that i that has stopped me from actually going out and trying to camping like aside from the fact that i normally travel alone and i'm a little bit hesitant to go camping and stuff by myself but another thing is like i i don't want to have to drag with me like a tent or a sleeping bag or anything like i don't own a tent i'd have to go out and buy it tents are expensive and sleeping bags are expensive like all the camping gear if you're gonna buy it yourself it's very expensive and trying to lug it around everywhere is inconvenient so just having this facility so close to the places where you're gonna actually be camping out and adventuring and stuff is is great it's great like i honestly think that it's a great place to go if you love outdoor adventuring I'm gonna go get some warmth, so back to the video. <laughs>
just got done um, visiting the Maxwell Wildlife Refuge and y'all it was actually really really cool like there's a lot of buffalo bison sorry I don't know like what the correct term is I think it's bison um, there's a lot of them out there they said that they have about 270 head right now um, and we saw the majority of the herd we actually got to like drive right on through the middle of the ma majority of the herd today and just like sit there and chill and it was really really cool like they were right up against the tram there were little baby cabbies they matched my hair we were twinning I loved it but it was really really cool to get to like be that up close and personal with the bison and see the little babies I definitely would probably go back and do it again I would like to go and do some hiking through the park they said that they had like um, a whole bunch of land that was just donated to them here recently to add in some more hiking trails and stuff so I think it'd be cool to go back and do some hiking there and also to go back in the winter time and just see the bison and the elk apparently they have elk out there as well like a pretty big herd so I think it'd be really cool to go back like in the winter and see all of that during that time as well Everyday Adventure family.